Each year, one in three women die of heart disease and stroke. Hello, I'm Yolanda Vasquez, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I am joined now in the studio by Susan Toroella. She is the chair of Go Red for Women. Susan, it's a pleasure to have you here in our studio. Thank you for having me, Yolanda. So let's talk a little bit about Go Red for Women. A lot of people are familiar with it, have heard the term, and this is something the American Heart Association has taken on as a big mission for them. What exactly does it involve? Yeah, the Go Red for Women movement is a, is a national movement of the American Heart Association focused on reducing heart attack and stroke in women because it's not just an issue for men. As you said, one in three women die of cardiovascular disease and 80% of this can be prevented. And our mission is focused on preventing cardiovascular disease in women. And so how do we go about doing that? Because you guys have a very good acronym for Go Red. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, the Go Red acronym stands for the G, get your numbers. Talk to your physician about getting your glucose numbers, your cholesterol, your weight, hypertension, your, your, all of your biometric numbers. Mm -hmm. um, the O is owning your health. Yeah. If you're a smoker, take action to stop smoking. If you don't exercise, own that and start to, start to exercise. Right. R is raise your voice. Advocate for more research and education to prevent cardiovascular disease in women. E, educate your family mm. on these facts. And D is donate. The money raised through the Go Red movement helps to provide education and research dollars to improve the outcomes of heart disease in women. And if you're not able to donate money, you can obviously donate your time. Absolutely. That's kind uh, of how you got involved with all of this, that, right? That's right. I donate both my financial resources and also a great deal amount of time. Yeah. Uh, the Go Red movement, I attribute to saving my mother's life, in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell us about that. Yeah. So several years ago, my mother had learned through the Go Red for, uh, Go Red for Women movement that there are unique symptoms of heart disease more uh, commonly found in women. And because of that, when she experienced these symptoms one evening of pain in the back of her neck, sweating, she remembered what she had learned and called 911. And it's because of that that I've gotten involved to donate my time, and we encourage others to do so as well to help with the movement. And saved her life as well. Let's talk Absolutely. a little bit about Celebrate National Wear Red Day with Go Red for Women. When and where does this take place? Or all around the country, but a when does this take place? Absolutely. <laughs> it is Friday, February 6th, mm -hmm. and we encourage people to become involved to wear red on that day. You'll see lots of red around town uh, and around the country. Uh, but really more important than just wearing red, it's about taking some of those steps either in your workplace, your home, your place of worship, uh, to really uh, raise awareness about cardiovascular disease and some of the steps that we can take to prevent this number one killer of women. Our time is winding down. One or two symptoms or signs uh, that you might be having a, a stroke or any kind of cardiovascular disease or issue for a woman versus a man. Sure. Some of the symptoms that are often found more in women are tightness in, in your the center of your chest. It may come and go. Uh, pain in the back of your neck. Shortness of breath. Uh, nausea. And, uh, and sweating. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek help immediately, call 911. And sometimes women can be so dismissive of those signs, but we really got to pay attention. We absolutely do. Taking quick action can, can be a matter of life or death. So tell me a little bit about what you do in your day job. I know you're here for Go Red for Women, but what, what's your day job? Yes, my day job is Executive Vice President of Wellness Corporate Solutions, and we provide wellness programs to corporations to improve the health of their employee base. So we provide that both to our clients and their employees as well as to our own employees. So it's a natural fit that, mm -hmm. that we support the Go Red for Women movement in the community. Wonderful. Susan Toroe, it was a pleasure to speak with you. And you and I got the memo about it, Red and Black today. We're, Go Red. We're, we're rocking it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope to see you again real soon.